Hello my friends and welcome to another furniture makeover video. Today we are going to be working on my dining room table. So uh, naturally I called it trash to treasure because instead of you know getting rid of the table and buying a new one I will give it a facelift so it goes more with my new style. So I just showed you what it looked like. It had some wear and tear already on the top. I have refinished this table oh, many, many years ago, way before YouTube time, and it had held out quite well, but uh, some of the top was wearing out uh, already, and also the color wasn't quite um, what I wanted right for my new style. It was more pulling on red. And I would wanted it more into the neutral look. Um, so anyways, even though red oak is a new natural look, but I was kind of going for more lighter, lighter look. So I'm going to start off with just sanding the table. I'm not going to strip it. I'm just going to use a 60 grit table. Uh, uh, sanding paper for my rotary sander and just sand the whole thing down but I will leave some of the um, darker lines especially in the wood grain on because I want that to stay so um, it's not going to be a perfectly perfect uh, sanding um, but I will take most of the stain off I hope that makes sense and of course, when you're working outside, there are many distractions coming your way. Not long ago, you got hurt, someone did you wrong. I can see it in your eyes, it's like your fire is gone. And because of all the distractions, I did not realize my camera had turned off and I did put one coat of stain on it already. So the stain that I am using is I'm doing half and half, uh, equal so equal parts of a weathered oak as well as early American. And I am adding equal amounts into a bowl and using a rag. I am staining it by going with the wood grain. Um, so I am applying the stain with the, the rag and then letting it sit for a couple minutes and then I am wiping it off. And I repeated this process all together about three times. Across your face, it is written across your face. If you want to talk, I'm right here, not gonna leave your side. Just feel free to open up when the moment's right across your face. So I'm go I left this to dry completely overnight and now looking at it, I'm back in the garage now. Looking at it, I am not overly happy with the way it looks. So I decided to do one coat of weathered oak only doing the same way as the other one. And here it is, and now I'm definitely not happy with it at all because now I feel it's pulling completely into orange. So I went inside and I got my special walnut because it is more of a gray in it and added that. And I still wasn't overly happy with that look. So I went ahead and once it was dry, took out my white antiquing wax to use it as a, a like a whitewash glaze kind of thing. And I'm applying it with a brush and then just wiping it off and letting it kind of sit into the wood grains. Um, this did definitely lighten the color. Uh, but it still didn't quite give me the look that I was going for. So then I proceeded in applying the, the black wa wax, not antiquing wax, which is more of a brown, but a black wax, just to tone down some of the orange redness that was kind of coming through. And I was applying it the same way as I was the white wax. I just applied it with a brush and then wiped it off, almost like rubbed it in a little bit. So I just wanted to show you here, here, the left side has the waxes on and the right side it doesn't. So we did tone it down 
in my opinion, quite a bit. I know the sun's really strong and it's making it look even more orange, but here it is. I think now it is ready for the top coat. And for my top coat, I am using General Finishes water-based top coat. It is the same top coat I used on my stairs. And pretty much anytime I'm refinishing furniture, I use this top coat. And I'm applying it with a foam brush. And I do this three times. Um, you minimum want it three times. And I am sending it in between. I am just using a... Uh, 300 I think it's a grit sandpaper and just sanding it lightly in between the coats this will prevent it from looking um, I think they said it prevents it from looking overly shiny so I'm just doing it just because that's what the instructions say, say I'm doing it. I don't actually see any difference now, since I was refinishing the table as well, I have decided to refinish my chairs. I have actually done the chairs before I did the table, just because it was a little bit of a, of a less work than doing the whole table. So, as you can see, I did paint these um chairs a while back when I refinished the table the first time with any Sloan duck egg blue. Now this is, I'm going to tell you, one of my least favorite furniture makeovers is to painting chairs. I absolutely hate painting chairs. So I went and I borrowed the spray gun from my friend which I struggled with last time I used and I have must say a love-hate relationship with this spray gun but I think after using it here I had figured it out and now I know what I was doing wrong uh, definitely tilting that spray gun doesn't work and you just have to hold it straight but like I said that wasn't the problem with the spray gun when I was using it before it just kept spitting the paint out instead of spraying it so but anyways I didn't have so much trouble this time around. It did work pretty good for me. I did, however, go through a ton of paint, like two small um, containers of paint. I did end up using the bare uh, chalk paint um, in the color, I think it was black but I'm not 100% sure that's what it's called. And I did go through two, um, two containers of it. Well, container and a half. I, I probably have about a half a container left. And I did water the paint down a little bit just because it was chalk paint and it is quite a bit thicker. So, But I did water it down a little bit, and but I still ended up using quite a bit of paint. But it took me quarter of the time that it would have taken me to uh, paint it with the brush. But before I went ahead and painted all of these chairs, I gave them a good cleaning because they've been used by uh, us as well as the home daycare. I'm sure I didn't get all the nooks and crannies cleaned out when I cleaned it last time. So I actually took a bucket of water, put some soap in it, and I am using a um, Norwex rag that has a little bit of roughness in it to actually get all the stuck on stuff off wherever it needs needs to be cleaned off. So once everything was clean and dry, I took my spray gun and I started spraying. And I'm going to admit it, when this spray gun works well, it is so satisfying to paint things because you just go, 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 and things get covered so quickly and evenly. If there happened to be a blob or unevenness in the paint, I just took a foam roller and just kind of rolled the paint around just so that way it, there's no um, sitting paint because the, the chairs do have a bit of a indentation on top. Um, so if I went a little bit heavier with the paint, it did uh, the paint 
kind of pulled in in that indentation so I just spread everything out with a, a roller brush so here's the chair all nicely dried and ready to be sealed and I am using the water-based same sealer as the top of the table um, to seal the whole chair and I am like I said sanding in between with the block and then um, just a very very light sanding and then I'm going to apply the sealer with the brush the foam brush and again I'm doing three coats so here it is all finished my husband does say he can't see any difference with the top I do want to disagree with that I did show a little comparison so this was before it's a lot more reddish in my opinion whereas this one pulls more into the blacks and grays um, and I think with the blue chairs versus the black chairs I does do think it makes a huge difference and I am very happy with the way this is turning out it looks so much better inside than it did even in the garage so um, if you enjoyed this video please give it a thumbs up don't forget to hit that subscribe button and a notification bell so you don't miss out any of my future uploads and I will see you all in my next video thank you so much for watching